watching your favorite play drama with a wide smile on your face, even though you had watched quite a lot. You sing along with the hero, but suddenly, Taeyong come there and pluck off the TV. Wan, what's up Taeyong? Why you shut it off in the middle? I was enjoying it. Taeyong, go and study. You had watched this drama a hundred of times. If you are study a topic as much as it is, it will be more grown. Ryan, I will study a bit later, I promise, please. He will look at you blankly, which make you get up, as you know. He won't let you stay in peace. Now you are in your study room, while Taylor was sitting nearby, checking some important paper, but he got interrupted when he suddenly went in front of him. Taylor, what's up? Say fast, don't stand here. In front of me like a statue. Ryan, can you help me with this question? He nodded and took a glimpse of the question and said, Tim, you can't even answer this, huh? What do you in class when I teach others? Ryan, I was there, but aren't you the one who say, Students, we all can ask any question endless time, and I will answer them. Tim, I didn't say that for a uh, student like you, who don't care about studies and a couch potato. Ryan, oh, mister, don't talk about my personal matters. And now answer it, and if you don't want to, just tell me. He rolled his eyes and said the answer in one breath. Why, I'm not intelligent as you. Why can't you understand? Damn, go and Google it. Don't bother me. You sang, as you know, it was of no use to ask him. So you went and sit on your desk and start thinking of some weird stuff, like what if suddenly light went off, and for your shock, light went off, you scream and jung one tail. As you are afraid of darkness, a moment later light come back and when you open your eyes, you realize you was hanging on Taeyong like a koala. You become red as you are so close to him. Suddenly, he gets up with you in his arm, making you shock. Why, what are you doing to him? I'm shy. He threw you on sofa and leaned closer to you, making you become flustered. But he moved away after taking his bags. Why, how unromantic he is. Shit. You start doing your work again. First off, when Taeyong called you, why, what is now, Mr. Game? Taeyong, did you study for the tomorrow test? Why, what the hell, tomorrow's test? And you're telling me that now? Taeyong, be thankful I did because it's the best test. Now start studying and stop blaming me. You hit your hand with your desk and look at the heavy book in front of you. Why, at least give me a hit of what is coming in exam. Tim, if you took my class seriously, you will know that. You sang and gave him cute bark to make him mad, but you didn't even bother to give you a stare. Soon later, Tim looked up and saw you were asleep. He sang and covered you with blanket. Then he looked at the test paper he has made. He sang and cut some questions and changed them. Next day, you wake up and find yourself on a study table. Your eyes widen as you didn't study anything. You cursed yourself and decided to get ready for college. Soon later, you went downstairs to cook breakfast. You went down and saw Taeyong was there. Why, and what are you doing in the kitchen? Today it was my turn to cook. Taeyong, I don't like your cooking. Go and sit. Why, and you be? Yes, yes, I can study for a bit. That's good. You went to the living room with your book, and in it, you find a bookmark on a specific page which you didn't remember on putting bookmark on. Why, I should not lend this page because bookmark is here and probably I am the one who plays it and the thing which I think is important is never important. He removed the bookmark and laughed at his stupidity. Thanks, Kate. After breakfast, Taeyong say, Taeyong, should I drop you to college today? Why, drop me college? What will? Uh, no, it's fine. Taeyong, hmm. So, you say, I won't argue. He got up and started going toward the entrance but stopped for a moment and threw car keys toward you, which made you catch it without any problem. Tim, check it, I'm going by walk. You know it and you left, then soon later, you finished the food and left as well while thinking about the surprise test. Now you are in college, you saw your bestie Anna there. You smiled and went to her, Anya. Morning, babe, let's go inside the class. Why, Anna, have you studied anything of Mr. Kim's subject? Anna, who will study that boring subject? 
Fine, yeah, yeah, you are right. You know what? Let's just go to class. She nodded. Then you both walked inside the lecture room. In class, you stand silently and start studying as you can't waste any more time because you don't want to fail your husband's subject. Anya looked at you in shock as you were studying, which is not possible to her. Anya, why did someone start something to you? Tell me, I will break that person like. Why? No, I just feel like I should study as the exams are coming and I don't want to fail. This time, our mom will be so mad at me. Before Anya could say any further, Tane went inside the class and it also surprised her. Anya looked at you in disbelief, ear shock and say, Anya, so you do know about what to do test? You betray me. Why? What? I swear I didn't know that. It must be a coincidence. Calm down. She grabbed her collar by stop and Tim slammed the dustbin on his desk and said, Tim, enough of discussion. Come one by one and take your test papers. And after a few days, tomorrow, I will take the test again. Because today, most key students are absent. Tim kept the paper start and he prayed to God and looked at the paper, but his jaw dropped after seeing it because there was only three answers, you know, and left to her was the same page which is dead. He looked to at Anya, who had started her test. He wanted to cry, as you're gonna fail, which make you lose all your confidence. First, you decide to make up things to write answer, and after the test was over, Tim collected the test paper. You head down while Anya has went to washroom. Time skip. It was lunch time. You went and sit beside Anya. Who just ignored you and left from canteen but she think you didn't tell her purposely because you wanted to score good than her. You sign and start eating silently but not until your bully comes there. She is the topper of your class but her behavior is so bad. She hates you because you never be flattery with her. Suddenly she threw away a paper ball. Hate you. You sang and open even though you know what it was going to be. And as expected, a paper slipped poor cheap dirty dumbass. He didn't belong here to a college, just leave this college. You throw that paper away, but things doesn't end here. You bully Mia, sit in front of you and say, Mia, how dare you to throw away the thing I gave you? Why, please stop bothering me, or I will complain to principal. Mia, sure, go ahead. You must be really stupid to go to my father to make my complaint. You go into your job. As she is catching on your nerve, but you can't do anything because you got to school. There's so much struggle even after being poor in studies. And you don't want to get thrown out from here by a girl like Mia. Or you can tell Tim as you don't want to danger his job because of you. Van, please leave me alone, Mia. Mia, nah, I won't leave you until you leave this college. She laughed and threw ketchup on her dress, but she stopped. When she saw Tim passing by canteen corridor, Mia ran toward that way as she has crushed on Tim. You clinch your fist in jealousy as you hate her being with Tim, and you also give her attention because she is a good student. You stab that chicken face in front of you and decide to become better than her in studies because you want Tim to only focus on you. At home, as soon as you reach your room, you start studying without even changing your clothes. And by the time Tim arrived, you had completed two chapters. Tim became a bit shocked when he saw his studying. Tim, you seem serious about studies after the test. Don't tell me you failed it. Fine, I'm studying. Don't bother me. He just moved and left from there to get fresh up. So later, he came and started staring inside your book. But he didn't bother to say anything. He started getting nervous as he thinks you have done you some wrong. Why, stop staring at my work. If there's any mistake, tell me. Tim, no, go ahead. Everything is fine. I'm going to make lunch. We say and just left from there. We sang and say, Why, why I'm so stupid if I continue to be like this, I will. Next day, after test, you sang in relief as test went well. Suddenly, Mia come there and say, Mia, you seem happy. Your test went well. Fine, I don't want to tell you that. You may go. Mia, why you always push me away? Why am I that bad? 
You will know her, but she grabbed your hairs, making you scream in pain. But no one stand up for you, and Anna was absent. She soon stopped, as soon tamely and turns at the cross. But he has seen this by now. He went toward your seat and screamed, Tung, what is happening here? Mia, what you were doing with Vyan? Mia gave you dark glares and left from there, while you sit and wait for Mia to come and bully you again. But beside Mia, a professor enters at the classroom and says, Professor, I am taking Mr. Kim class today, so first I would like to announce that our dear principal is going to have a party before your class graduation, so everyone is invited. Now, let's start a class. Why don't you be here? Yeah, I will go there for sure. I hope you all pretty than team were a draw level, Mr. Shaw. Suddenly, you felt a sharp pain in your tummy. You cursed it and realized the period has arrived. Fine, I really hate these periods. They always arrive. When the children, I didn't even bought Paris today. Did I ask Tim for help? He's my husband after all. You ran away from classroom and directly went to a team office in Hawaii. You didn't knock and enter inside the room just to see Mia was Hawaii team, making your heart break. You look at the other side and close the door behind you as you can't believe what you have just watched. Tim pushed Mia away harshly and said, Tayong, be in your limits, Mia. I will talk to your father about this act of yours and will make sure that you will get worse punishment. He went to find you, but you had already left. He cursed as she can't leave the college in the middle without writing the application. On the other side, you went to home with the tears in your eyes. After what you were seeing there, you get changed and lock yourself in room. Why? Why he does that with me? It's all because... Of me for a study and become nice in his eyes. But I shouldn't do that. Why can't you say I love him? He's so cruel. I will never talk to him ever again. You say it by crying and without realizing you fell to sleep. After an hour, Tim entered inside your room and saw you sleeping silently. He sang and sat beside you. Then he removed the hair from your face and saw your face was covered with tears. Tayong, I'm sorry I come late and also for hurting your feelings. I will wait for you to get up. He said and continued to stare at the sleeping figure. After some time, you wake up and see Tim, who was on near by couch. You get up with a pain in your abdomen. A hiss came out from your mouth, which was saying sweet to break. He was saw you awake, so he sat back and was about to open his mouth to talk, but But before going, tell me, since when you left that Mia, dear, look, there's something like that, that all was Mia doing. Why? You didn't push her as well, right? This mean? You like her touch, so stop explaining me. I hate this person who pity me. Dear, her says, shut up your mouth, why? You flinch and become silent at a shout. Dear, I had enough of your nonsense talk. Don't say whatever come in your mouth and think whatever you want. But I didn't say anything wrong, nor I like that Mia. That's all I got to say, now fucking stop it. Why, you are shouting on me just to prove yourself, right? Jim look at you in disbelief and laugh from the room in frustration. You take everything wrong, and you didn't even bother to listen to him, as first of all you get to sometime on your previous day, and you can't even take it till scolding, but as now Jim will shout on you, you become more sad and start thinking that he is mad at you for being stupid and drama maker and so on. Time skip for the whole day. You both didn't talk to each other. At night, Jim entered inside your room with the phone and saw you crying. Sadly, he sighed, beginning for shouting at you. But he stopped when he saw you saying that kid drama in which male leaders left female lead for other girl. He looked at you in disbelief and said, Jim, you are still stuck on the morning thing, what's wrong with you? Fine, I'm sorry to even talk to that Mia. At least look at me. Fine, I don't care about it now, nor I wanted to talk to you. It's not like you care about me. Damn, how much pampering you want? Fine, teach me, Miss Kim, how to be a caring person. You ignore him again, which makes him sigh, as he can't believe that he has made you this mad. 
Still, look, Vine, I'm sorry for not being clear, but learn to know your mistake too. Vine, I don't want to talk about that thing. Now I just want to be alone. He sang and start going off from rumor frustration, but stop when he say, Vine, you are leaving me like that. How cruel you are. Tim, I had enough. If you don't stop your behavior, I will tell your parents that you failed the test even after I give you so much hint. Vine, don't do that, please. Tim, then behave and come down for dinner. Vine, may I ask I am gonna go to tomorrow party? Tim, yeah, if I didn't go, then who will represent my class and who will give speech? How about you? Vine, I'm not feeling well. Next morning, you wake up and saw Tim was already ready to leave. Vine, Tim, can I go along with you? Tim, but you said you were sick and can't come. Vine, I am coming because I trust Tim, not Mia, and I know an innocent man like you won't be able to handle her. Tim, she will harm you, right? Why didn't you tell me? Vine, there is nothing like that. We just don't like each other. You go, I will come in bed. He known and left from there. Then you get up and get dressed in the best dress you can before leaving. Now you are at occasion place. You saw the setup was so beautiful and everyone was enjoying. And for a shock, the principal has set up the pool in between for the students to enjoy. After looking around further, you start finding a friend, but she was nowhere to be found. But soon you point her with Mia. She was talking with her like they are best friend. You went there. You hear them bitching you, which makes you shock as you can't believe your own friend betray you in anger. You grab Anya arm and say, Van, you witch, you betray me, and why is that? Mia, she don't like you because you're not ready to be a friend. You grab a collar, but she pushes you away with a smirk on her face, which makes you fall. In pool, your eyes widen when you realize you're still on your fears. The water start to become red in presence of everyone who was gossiping about you. Everyone was in pool. Quickly jump out. You felt a rush of embarrassment taking over you, the way everyone was staring at you. You began to cry at this moment. You wanted the ground to swallow you. No one came to help you. Damn, who was talking? To senior professor, but he stopped when he saw children were gathering at a place. He went there to saw. What is the problem? His eyes widened when he saw you in the pool crying. He didn't hesitate to jump in the pool for you and place your face in his coat and scream, Damn, what are you are doing by standing there watching the show? I will keep it. Remember to give you all zeros in your assignment. Damn, pick you up and get her from the pool and glare at your friend, Damn, who pushed you in the pool. Anya, sister, I don't know what are you talking about. Tim, if you don't tell me that drone, be ready to stay in college for a year more. Anya, no, no sir, I'm telling you, it was Mia. Tim glared at Mia, who was looking down. Tim, Miss Mia, I will make sure to not let you go easily without any punishments. You see and start taking you away from there, but stop when that Mia say, Mia, then you boys should be thrown out from college for being together. Anya, what are you talking about? Mia, that bitch is Mr. Kim's mistress. That's why she got good grade. Last time I see it myself. You keep crying in Tim's arm as this is the worst day in your life. Tim, this girl in my arm is my wife and I don't care about whatever you all think. He said and finally left from there. While well, everyone continued to gossip about your boy's relationship, 